Cause I hit you with that bad space You ain't coming back Now they try to order Let you give me space I tell Hit you with that bad space You ain't coming back What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel where you let us know what we should or shouldn't be playing, playing based upon your interactions down below. We got another visual novel. I really like that guy's shirt, though. It's like the uh, Super Nintendo. I think it's the European. I think it's the European version. If I remember correctly, ours is just purple and gray. Not so much, so much fun in those. And I can't remember what the Japanese market had, color-wise. I knew, I know it was the Super Famicom. Super Famicom. Wow, Super Famicom. Not con. It's not a convention. Can't speak today. Sorry, I'm looking at that guy's tattoo in the neck, and I'm pretty sure that tattoo was put on afterwards. Anyways, <laughs> today we're checking out C14 Dating. Thanks to our friends over at Wild Games for giving us the opportunity to check this out. If you're one of the beautiful people that jumped into our last video, whether it was to answer the PYP or just say hello, here's our comment on screen. The PYP for this video is, would you rather wear shoes that are two sizes too small? That would be painful. Or never be able to drink plain water again. <laughs> I had to laugh at that because that second one, I, I'm, I'm giving my all. I'm giving it my all. A long time ago, it's a long time ago now, there was a competition between myself and some friends that you'll be seeing here. You'll be seeing on the channel at some point. And it was, it was fun. It was fun for the week. And then the second week, I kind of petered off. And I haven't really consumed water, like basic water, since. I drink all the time. I'm drinking juice all the time a lot. But uh, frozen juice, that is. We did Kool-Aid for a while, and that was... <laughs> that's not that good. I mean, it's fantastic to drink, but it's it's terrible for you. So I have to be kind of mindful. Turn off the mini games. Okay, so this is kind of like... Um, Vera Blanc. We'll leave them on. Yeah, we want we want original font and dialogue. What does that mean? Ah, is this it? I glanced at the map, which highlighted road names along with a star next to my destination. After comparing, I came to the conclusion this wasn't the place, but I was close. The village, Corrines, was clustered by the Meuse River, and I paused to admire the pretty gardens surrounding the houses. I was oddly calm. Despite being over 5,000 miles from my Californian home, the reality of being in another country had yet to sink in. Up ahead, there was a clearing separated from the road by a fence. On the other side, a few tents were stationed behind a two-story building. I spotted an open-chained gate with a billboard in front of the driveway. It said, Grote de Calen Entre. There's no accents there. Good stuff. That's the place. So we're uh, apparently 5,000 miles away from California in France. A uh, familiar figure. I don't know if that's actually true. I'd want to say something about 3,000. I don't know about 5,000, but I could be wrong. The familiar figure stood by the entrance. She was currently talking to a middle-aged man. But when she saw me, she gave me a cheerful wave as I ran up to her. Sherry! With one hand on my bag handle, I exchanged a half-embrace with my professor. I didn't know you already arrived. If you called me, I would have come and picked you up at the train station. You mentioned that the cave wasn't far, so I wanted to soak in the scenery and enjoy the sights. I'm glad you made it safely. Was it difficult taking the train? Nope. Well, I did try to practice my French at the ticket station until the person said that he couldn't speak it. He could speak English. He pointed me in the right direction. At least you'll be able to brush up on your French. Uh, you'll find it's not too different from Spanish. You'll catch on quickly. I say that all the time. I say that all the time. Honestly. 
I groaned inwardly. My Spanish wasn't the most fluent, but I mentioned it in my in interview when discussing how I could cope with staying in Belgium without knowing French. <laughs> you liar! I glanced around, then turned to Sherry. Where's Paige? She didn't... Didn't she say she would be arriving earlier today? Or was that tomorrow? I got an email from her yesterday saying there was a family emergency. She won't be able to participate this summer. I failed to hide my disappointed appointment. Paige was the other student from my university who planned to attend this field school. We even worked out trips to do every weekend during our stay. I mustered up a weak smile. It's understandable. Can't be helped if it's family. Then it would just be me. Sherry gestured to the other persons present to change the subject. Before I forget, let me introduce you to Professor Aug Augustine Dupont, Chief Archaeologist of Kalen Cave. I eagerly extended my arm for a handshake. Everything I heard about Mr. Dupont was from Sherry, and she'd mentioned that he was re a revered Belgian archaeologist. It's an honor to meet you. I'm Melissa Flores, a junior. I look forward to seeing Sherry's students every summer. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mr. Dupont spoke with a heavy French accent, but I had no trouble comprehending him. I mean, if he's Belgian, wouldn't it be a Belgian accent? Have you gone over everything with Sherry? When the students from Liège, uh, Liège, sorry, yeah, Liège arrive today, tonight, they'll get their first lecture before dinner. Yes, I'll still attend the lecture though. If I was going to be submerged in the language, I might as well start by hanging out with the local students. Mr. Dupont eyed my suitcase. It must have been a tiring trip. Come, we will show you around the back. Students will be spending the weekdays here. We reached the clearing and I spotted the same tents, most clustered around the perimeter against the bushes and a few were closer to the building. Feel free to pick one. These are for the students who don't own their own tents or air mattresses, or couldn't bring them. The chief archaeologist gave a nod, then excused himself. He probably had other matters to attend to before the students arrived. I studied the tents to the building and thought about my phone, which was still in airplane mode. How's the Wi-Fi here? If you stay in that tent, you might get Wi-Fi. It doesn't extend much here in the back. If you brought a laptop, you can leave it in the lab laboratory. It's been done before. Everything gets locked up at night, though, for safekeeping. Fair enough. At least I can keep in touch with my parents. Once you finish, come back to the front. We'll give you a tour. Will we get to see the cave today? It's already locked, so you'll have to wait until morning. And the anticipation builds. I thanked her and started unpacking. There was already a mattress, pillow, and sleeping bag in place, and it took only a few moments to settle in. Done. Grabbing a small storage bag, I zipped my tent and hurried over to the front of the building. Anyway, this is the main entrance. This will take you to the... She opened the door and my eyes widened when I saw display after display. So it was a museum. And a remarkably tiny one after one loop. After one loop, I was already back to the entrance. I wanted to examine the displays more, but figured I'd have more time, free time later. Sherry and I ascended the stairs by the entrance. This room. It's more of a multi-purpose room. It can be used for lectures, and it's where findings are cleaned if the weather isn't suitable outside. I cradled the storage bag, wondering how to bring up the question. Unfortunately, no, not unfortunately. Fortunately, Sherry noticed. Something important in there? Um, the extra insulin I won't be using yet. It needs to be to avoid extreme temperatures. Is there somewhere safe I can store it? Of course. Thank you for reminding me. Feel free to use the indoor kitchen since it's restrict restricted to staff members. Augustine has granted you access since he knows you're diabetic. She led me to the back, giving me a chance to store the insulin bottles in the fridge. And to conclude this tour, this is the lab. This is where most of the research takes place. How many students will there be? It varies. There could be as many as 40 or as few as 20. Students from Liège are required to devote at least four weeks working at an archaeological site, regardless of their major. Therefore, we may get a lot of music and art students too. And other students, sorry, the other students should be arriving soon. How's the jet lag? 
Not bad so far. A little fatigued, but nothing else. I'm going to be up all night, aren't I? Worst case scenario, I'll give you an extra day to prepare yourself for the dig. You've reviewed the material I've given you, right? Um, yes, I've looked at it. Is there anything else you sh you'd like to go over? It has been a month since my last lecture. Ooh. Can you remind me about the site again? I know it's famous for discovering the remains of a Neanderthal. Oh, Neanderthal. Dating back to 125,000 years ago. Correct. The site was established... Has established two Neanderthals. Occupations from different times. This is mainly a mid middle paleo paleolithic site. With sediments ranging from 300,000 years old. To as recent as 4,000 years. Nice. I can't wait to discover a tooth or something. If you do, it'll likely belong to a cave bear. Cave bear? Are those remains found often? Yes, 99% of all fauna, animal remains collected are cave bear. Even so, I'm sure that's something. Not many people can say they dug up cave bear. Yeah, I don't care about that. I noticed in all your lectures you use Neanderthal. I've always heard it as Neanderthal. Is it a preference? A preference? And there's no H sound when it's pronounced in French and German. It's something that I picked up when I started working in Europe. However, both are accepted spellings in academic journals. Here it'll be referred to as Neanderthal. Right, Neanderthal it is. Interesting. I think I'm good for now. Great. However, if you have any, few, any new questions come up, feel free to ask. We heard activities outside compete with loud voices. Sorry, complete with loud voices and footsteps on the gravel. It sounds like the students from Liège are here. Augustine will start the lecture soon. Huh? No chance to unpack or get ready or anything like that? No, all the students were given instructions on when to arrive. Punctuality is valued greatly here. He'll lecture now and the students will settle in after. I'll be on my way. Some students stood while others sat on the stone tiles in front of the building. A few leaned against their luggage, but they all formed a semicircle around Augustine. There were about 30 faces and I wondered how the camping grounds would certain contain them all. They fell silent when Augustine began to speak. And that's it. We're going we're gonna to stop right there. So it's an archaeology um, visual novel. Not bad. I mean... The content itself is decent. The art styling is decent. I would have definitely preferred um, narration, but it's not bad. It's something that I could see myself kind of getting into a little bit, but it's not my choice. It's your choice. So let me know with your con comments and interactions down below. But until next time, whether you're online or offline, stay focused and get yours. See ya.